Shortly after the mass cars of foot and mouth started, we began to hear stories of sheepdogs being destroyed, along with the livestock. We contacted the government and suggested a scheme to rescue dogs from ineffective farms. After some consultation, approval was given, and Border Collie Rescue went on the road. A wise man said to me one day, Listen up child, don't turn away. You can't afford to miss what I have to say. Do what I can to open my eyes To a world that relies on us all being blind anyway Because actually we did think about having them put down Before the wife heard about the dog rescue on the wireless There'd be a lot of dogs put down and A lot of dogs wasted if it wasn't for them And you're talking in circles can't you make it plain? You're talking in circles and take me away. Discovers a new twist to a story that we all know well. In all the misery of foot and mouth, dogs have rather been forgotten. But culling thousands of sheep means that working dogs like Ted here are out of work and out of a home. Border Collie Rescue has been going nearly 30 years. Now, Mike, you've been involved for what, about 10? About 10 years, yes. When did you realise this year that there was going to be a really big problem? Because when foot and mouth started, sheepdogs weren't really top of anyone's list, were no, they? No, they weren't initially, no. No, we realised in March um, that there was going to be a problem with dogs because we were hearing stories about um, dogs being destroyed on farms. And although there were only unsubstantiated rumours, we were aware that there was going to be a bit of a problem with dogs being made redundant because of the culling of the livestock. So we proposed then to MAF that we should set up a programme that would enable us to bring dogs in from infected farms decontaminate them and get them back into working environments as quickly as we could. How easy has it been to actually find homes? Because they're not great pets, are they? No, no, they're not really a pet breed, particularly these that we're bringing in from working farms because they're all from working bloodlines. But fortunately, we've had a lot of response from British farmers and we've had well over 600 applications to take on working dogs. So there's plenty of potential out there for the dogs to go to new farms. Here we've got Ted with a couple of pups. We brought the pups in today. Ted came from a farm in Lancashire. Um, he was uh, the farmer's son's dog, and uh, unfortunately, the day I went to collect him was the, uh, the lad's birthday. It was his fifth birthday, and uh, unfortunately, under the circumstances, they had to part with uh, some of the dogs on the farms, and this was one that had to go. It was a bit of a sad scene. I went into the farm and was taken into the room with all the family and uh, given a cup of tea and a slice of birthday cake by the lad, and uh, then I had to go and take his dog away. It's uh, very sad. As you know, foot and mouth has caused huge devastation through vast tracts of the countryside this year. One hears terrible stories of flocks of sheep painstakingly built up over decades being slaughtered. And this has caused hardship and loss of livelihood for some sheepdogs. Frightened, bewildered and confused, two-year-old Boz is one of many young dogs saved by Border Collie Rescue from farms devastated by foot and mouth. The aim is to rehome as many dogs as possible, but the test for any working dog, Boz included, is how they operate around sheep. He's a grand little dog and he's showing plenty of potential. He's a lovely character, very nicely bred. He's very, very keen 
and he's very eager to bond on to anybody that's going to give him the opportunity to do his work again. Both the pups are working and Tess is working, which was nice to hear. If they're working, they're just, I don't know, if they take to you and you take to them, that's it. Um, you know, he's just you're your best friend. When you go out there, they'll do the best for you and you'll try to do your best for them. So it was the best to let them go and hopefully for, go and work for somebody else. I took on Ted because I'd lost my main working dog and we needed to replace him and Border Collie Rescue did a very good job of matching a dog of the experience I needed and the position it had to fit into within the other dogs on the farm. At the moment he's lost, he doesn't know where he is and I think once he gets used to me I can make something out of him. But it will be a matter of making a bond with him first. I take him out about three times a day, regular to ship, and I think he'll come out of his shell. Anyway 